channel. So, before we start, syempre, tradisyon na natin mag-show out. So, show out muna natin. Una, si Jan Gracochea Vergara. Yan. Sama niya, jowa niya. Sana all. Next. Susunod natin si Miss Journey Rosales. Yan, yung tagagawa ko ng mga video ko. Yan, supporter natin yan. Siya rin gumawa ng YouTube channel ko. Next, si Enrique Francis Chan. So, yan, mabait din na bata yan, magaling din yan. Dati ko student. At yung sukay natin, si Miss Elaine Refil. Yan. Laging ano ka yan, first commenter. Nagko-comment ka agad yan. Supporter. So, let us now start. So, ang gagawin natin, nandito yung PowerPoint ko. Dito kayo titingin. Dito ako titingin. So, ganun lang. So, our topic for today is about photosynthesis. So, photosynthesis tayo. What is photosynthesis? Nakakabulol. It is the process by which green plants and certain other organisms transform light energy into chemical energy. Hmm? Parang napakahirap na. Ah. So, so, ibig sabihin, yung proseso na yan talagang mahirap. Pero pag inintindi mo yung mga product at saka yung, out, ah, yung result niyan, madali lang yan, kalma lang. Or sa simple terms, ang photosynthesis is the process of making food in green plants. Yung ganun lang. Although sa bacteria may photosynthesis din, pero magpo-focus tayo sa green plants, sa mga halaman. Now, look at the board. So, meron tayong plant dyan, no? May drawing, may illustration. So, ano yung mga illustration na yan? So, number one. The plant draws up water and minerals from the ground through the roots. Saan nanggagaling yung tubig? Sa ilalim. Tandaan niya na, sa ilalim. So, pag ikaw tama, magdidilig ka ng halaman, dapat, roots ang target mo. Yung leaves kasi, may waterproofing yan. Hindi napasok, basta-basta yung tubig doon sa leaves. Kaya bali wala yung tubig mo doon. Dapat, sa roots. Uh, next, number two. The leaves take in carbon dioxide from the air and release oxygen. So nakuha niyo yun, kukunin ng carbon dioxide at i-release niya yung oxygen. So yung brief, brief ano lang to discussion ng, ng photosynthesis. So ibig sabihin, yung hiningin, ah, yung nilabas natin carbon dioxide, sila ang kukuha nun. At sila naman magre-release ng oxygen. Next. Ito na, papasok na yung sunlight. <coughs> the sunlight gives chloroplast to make sugar or food. So, yun yung product. Kung magkakaroon tayo ng sugar or food, yan yung product ng photosynthesis. Ngayon, ano ba yung chloroplast? Nabanggit na yung chloroplast eh. So, ito yun guys. Let us look at the internal parts of a leaf. So, ito, kaya natin pinakita to kasi sa module nyo, wala to Ibig sabihin, pero tinanong sa worksheet. So, kailangan to malaman nyo muna internal parts of a leaf. Kasi dyan, sa worksheet nyo, ipasil dyan. Ang doggy ko, kumakahol na naman. Sana tumahimik na siya. So, ito. So, may mga binilugan ako dyan. Nakikita nyo yung mga green dyan. Tingnan yung mga green. Maraming green na maliliit. Nalilit na green. Ayan, ayan. Ang tawag yan, chloroplast. So, what are chloroplast? Ayan, o. Oh. This is where photosynthesis occurs. It contains the light-absorbing green pigment called the chlorophyll. So, saan makikita chlorophyll? Sa chloroplast. Ngayon, next, yung isa pa dyan, yung stomata or stomates is used for gas exchange. Next, yung guard cells. It regulates the opening and closing of the stomata. Siya yung pinaka-guard eh. So, siya yung mag-ano ng 
mag, kung kailan magsasara, magbubukas ang stomata. Yun ang ano niya, function. Next. Wait. Bababa natin. The next figure, kailangan makakita nyo muna yung plant cell. Bakit? Meron din dyan sa wall sheet nyo eh. Kaya tanong yung cell wall. Yan cell wall, yan yung nag identity Yun yung bukod tangi na makikita sa plant na hindi makikita sa laman. Yan part na yan ng cell wall. And all the other parts, hindi natin di-discuss yan. Yun lang chloroplast, yung color ring. Ito mo yung color ring, isa, dalawa, tatlo, apat. Apat na chloroplast. Pero sa totoo lang, marami yan. O, oh, ngayon, bababa ko lang. Ngayon, pag hinati mo naman yung chloroplast, or inukaan mo, eto makikita mo, meron niya six parts. May number, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yan yung nasa worksheet nyo. So, ang sinasabi dyan, i-identify nyo muna yung mga function. Number one is called the inner membrane. So, function niya, it regulates the passage of materials in and out of the chloroplast. Ganun lang. Ito, parang bonus yun na to sa akin. Number two, intermembrane space. It is for oxidative phosphorylation. So, scientific term na naman. Sa susunod pa yan, madidiscuss. Next, number three. The outer membrane or the outermost covering first line before materials enters the chloroplast. So, next, the stroma. It contains the enzymes necessary for carbon fixation. Number five, the thylakoid. They are the site of light-dependent reactions for photosynthesis. And number six is the lamella or lamellia. Lamella na lang. Connects and separates thylakoid stacks. Grana, maximizing photosynthesis, photosynthesis efficiency. Nabulyoy. Next. Oh, here are the important terms to remember. So, ayan, pinost ko na lang. Bakit ko pinost? Sa totoo lang, itong topic na to, yung module natin, tsaka yung worksheets, hindi masyadong nagja-jive. Nahirapan tuloy akong ituro. So, ibig sabihin, kung susundin ko yung pagtuturo ko na wala naman sa module, bali wala. Hindi nyo masasagot ang module nyo. Kaya ito, binibigay ko na sa inyo para lang masagutan yung module nyo. Ganun lang. So, yun lang. Na ano natin, yun lang ano natin dito. Masagutan nyo lang. So, telacoids, mold membranes, found within the plant chloroplast, green pigment, example nyo yung chlorophyll A and B, phycobilin, pigments or any group, of highly colored pigments found in some photosynthetic, photosynthetic algae. Nabubuyoy. <laughs> Mitochondria is a spherical organ, organ found in the cytoplasm of eukaryotic cells whose functions are similar in chloroplast. Tulad yan. Nay, ano yun eh? Dapat plant cells yun eh. Eh, napunta na dito. Next. Stroma. A colorless fluid surrounding the grana within the chloroplast. The chloroplast is an organelle found in the cells of green plants and photosynthetic algae. Next, seven. The process of photosynthesis is characterized by the conversion of sunlight into chemical energy. Cell wool, only found in plants but not in animals. Mesophyll is the inner tissue of a leaf that contains numerous chloroplasts. Grana, the stack-like structure of telacoids in plant chloroplasts that contains chlorophyll. So, yun yung mga terms or mga words na dapat nyong malaman. Pero hindi talaga yun eh, yung ano natin, ang target natin yung photosynthesis. Papaliwanag natin yung, yung tama. So, meron tayong chemical formula o photo synthesis. Kasi hindi ko alam kung itong lesson natin ba ito eh. Lesson sa ibang lugar. 
Ibig sabihin, sa buong Pilipinas ba to? Hindi ko alam. Hindi ko sure. Pero itong tuturo ko sa inyo, ito sure ko. Bakit? Kahit na Amerikano, kahit na lahi mo, ito mahalaga mo malaman. The General Equation of Photosynthesis. So, ito na guys. Tuturo ko sa inyo yung General Equation of Photosynthesis. General Equation. photo synthesis ito yung ano talaga nalabas lagi sa test ko eh mga periodical test ganun so ito na so 6 molecules of carbon dioxide CO2 carbon dioxide plus 6 molecules of H2O then by the help of sunlight, it will energize the chlorophyll and will give, as a result, C6H12O6. Nakikita ko ba? Na nakikita. Plus, six molecules of, of what? Oxygen. So, they got six molecules of oxygen. Kita ba? Tiyo, kita pa. Again, so, six molecules of carbon dioxide. This is carbon dioxide. And this is water. Next, this is your glucose. And this is your oxygen. Oxygen. Now, these two are what we call as the reactants. Sila yung nag-react. So, yung carbon dioxide pumasok sa leaves. Yung water galing sa roots, magkikita sila sa taas. In sunlight ngayon, i-energize niya yung chlorophyll, magpo-produce siya ng glucose at oxygen. Yung oxygen, yan yung higupin, yan yung lalabas sa kanila at higupin natin humans. So, these are called the products. In summary, that is the general equation of photosynthesis. So, kailangan memorize nyo yan. Yun lang. Thanks.